Yeah, I'm calling to speak to Dave, please. Yeah, this is Dave. Hey, Dave, this is Charles. I'm calling from Nostrum. Your wife left us a message that you needed to exchange some shorts with us. Are you guys serious? Like, I told her the ones that she got were just fine. No, it's okay. I mean, we don't mind. We do exchanges like this all the time. So what kind of shorts are they? She said they were the men's khaki with two pockets and there were yeah. colors. Yeah, it's those ones. And there's also a pair of these like navy and white ones. Okay. And you need to exchange all of them or just the khaki or just or all of them? No, I got I got to exchange all three. They're all the wrong size. Okay. And what size are they? They're 34 waist and I need it to be 36. Okay. No problem. Stand by one second for me, okay? All right. Hey Carol. Hey, do we have the uh, do we have the men's khaki in thirty sixes? Yeah, I got I got a guy who has thirty fours, but they're too small. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like, hey, maybe instead of uh, changing your pants, try losing the weight, fat ass. Okay, all right, thanks. Uh, okay, sir, it looks like we definitely have the khakis. All right, all right. did did you just call me a fat ass? Just now? I, I'm sorry, a what? I thought I heard you call me a fat ass just now when you put me on hold. Okay, well, I, I would never say something like that to a customer, so. That's what I thought. I was like, what the hell? Okay, listen, let me go check on the Navy. Um, and you also said white, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on one second. Hey, can they hear us? Like, no, when. Okay, when we put a customer on hold, can they hear us? Okay, because I just called this guy a fat ass. And he was like, you called me a fat ass. And I'm like, calm down, bitch boy. If I call you a fat ass, I'll say it to your face. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. It's some dude who can't fit his fat ass into his golf pants. Oh, that reminds me. Do we have the men's uh, shorts in blue in 36? Yeah, for Fatty McGee. We do? Okay, cool. Um, okay, sir, so it looks like we also have the Navy in... Let me tell you, let me stop. I'm going to stop you right there, sir. I'm going to stop you. Let me tell you something. You have to learn a lot about customer service. I want to speak to your manager. Excuse I me? I want to speak right now. What? I want, you heard me. You heard me. I want to speak to your boss right now. Oh, okay, may, may I ask why? Well, I don't know. How about the fact that you just fucking called me a fat ass and a bitch boy? How I need to fit my fat ass? Into my golf pants. How about that? How sir, about that? Why sir, I need to talk to your boss, sir? Are you are you sure you're talking to the right person? Because I would never say anything like that. I know you said it. You said if you said it, you would say it right to my face. I heard that part too. I heard all of this. Now put me on your boss right now. Put uh, me on phone with your uh, boss. Okay, sir. No problem. Hang on one second, please. Hey, can you get Amanda over here for a sec? Yeah, yeah. This guy's being a major. D he wants to speak to her. Yeah, thanks. Hey, here, you will you talk to this guy? Good afternoon. This is Amanda. How may I help you? I would just like you to know that whoever was just helping me out is one of the most insulting customer service representatives I have ever experienced in my life. I used to work retail years ago, and I know I know bad customer service when I see it. And this guy should be fired immediately. Well, first of all, let me apologize on behalf of our entire company. I am very sorry that you had a bad experience. I can assure you that your business is extremely important to us, and I will do everything I possibly can to fix this situation for you, okay? Well, I hope so. I hope so, because this is definitely the rudest I've ever been treated by a company in my life. Okay, I, again, I'm sorry. Hang on one second, and I'll sort all of this out, okay? Fine. What a little f***ing bitch. He's all like, oh, I used to work retail a long time ago. I'm like, bitch, which retail store did you work at? Were you selling bell bottoms to my great grandma? Go cry to somebody else with your old fat ass. <laughs> Sir, I can assure you that this problem will be handled by me personally. No, you know what? You know what? Do me a f***ing favor. Don't fix it. Don't do a damn thing. Also, you know what you might want to do? Here's what you can do. Maybe stop talking sh about your customers while they're on hold. Because I can hear every f***ing word you're saying. You people are the worst. You're all pieces of sh 
Just wait till I tell everybody how you treat your customers, how you treat the people coming in your store, trying to spend their money, sir. their hard-earned money on your piece of shit, tacky shorts. Sir, 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 you know what? That is a great idea. Fantastic. And um, you know what you should do? You should call that radio show on Z104 in the morning, the Z Morning Zoo. Or actually, you don't have to because you're on it right now. What? Dave, this this isn't really Nordstrom. This is the Z Morning Zoo, <laughs> and you just got phone scammed. I'm so sorry. Your wife asked us to do this to you. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, my God. I was like... I don't think they know that I can hear them. I was losing my mind. No, we, we knew that was sort of the plan.